It's luckily that people are opening up their homes more and more um, to this music. And uh, when Marcellus doesn't have all the answers at Lincoln Center. <laughs> so I like places wow. like this because there's a myriad of talent out there that will never get into Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. So it's not the end all be all. Yeah. And no. I believe that you should support salons and neighborhood places. Um, I'm, I'm going to share some of my um, husband's music with you tonight. His name was Elmo Hope. Mm -hmm. He was two, uh, one third of the uh, piano bebop tradition. Uh, and that music pianistically was uh, invented by Thelonious Monk, mm -hmm. Bud Powell, and Elmo Hope. Mm -hmm. My husband died tragically young, a victim of drugs, and so he didn't really get to uh, be uh, the, the household word that Thelonious Monk is now, thank goodness he is, uh, and Bud Powell enjoyed some, some wonderful uh, experiences before he was brutally beaten by police and his life changed forever after that also. So this music survives, I think, mostly because I am insistent about playing it and introducing it. Eric Reed did a, a curated a program at Columbia University some years ago and did an all Elmo Hope program. The music is published by Second Floor Music. And now I'm in the middle of a project to uh, transcribe his music for for beginners, intermediate, and advanced piano. Because I've talked to a lot of wonderful piano players and tried to get them to play the music, and they keep telling me it's too hard. So I'm going to have ten year olds playing it, and then I want some piano players to come in and tell me, "You mean you can't do this?" Yeah. So uh, I'm going to be. He had a penchant for um, playing, for doing very intricate little melodies. Uh, one of them he did on a, a song that some of us might know called It's, it's a Lovely Day Today. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd play that first so you could see what his take was mm -hmm. on a familiar song.
Pamela was from a uh, uh, descendant from the uh, Caribbean islands, uh, Barbados in particular. So he was a second generation Barbadian born in this country. But I think he had some of the island feeling in his music. So this next one has uh, uh, that kind of feeling for that rhythm. And it's called uh, Roll On. <laughs> 